they stole our table. Thank you for always wanting to read to Az. Get out of here. Okay. Wow, dude, you're getting pretty good. That is insane. Look at that. There are two things in our life right now that are completely, totally drowning us. One of them being time. Not having time to do stuff with the family because we're cleaning or doing other things. And the other one is clutter. So time, because we're cleaning, and clutter actually makes the time thing worse. There are two areas in our house that really, really, really are bad. There's one place that I have been ignoring and basically putting it off and then everything else that we clean in terms of clutter in our house ends up in this one place. When we're throwing it away, we're gonna send it to DI. In other words, we're going to donate it. It is the garage. Now, that doesn't look too bad back there, bikes and whatnot, but look at this right here. These are boxes. These are empty boxes, a ton of empty boxes. Things that, uh, uh, were thrown away from the kitchen, things that were thrown away during Christmas time, th things that have been thrown away from the basement. This over here is our pile of DI stuff, stuff that's going to be donated, still just stacking up in here. Behind that, all that back there is a Mustang. You can't even see it. It's an old Mustang of mine. You can't even see it. So the goal of mine today, one of the major goals of mine today is to get Allie and Danielle out here and help me clean this mess up. All the Christmas stuff got put up just the other day, so that's out of the way, but we really have a ton to do out here, and we're gonna start with this mess on the floor. That shot right there is embarrassing. This is totally embarrassing to me. That is insane. Look at that. Time to clean it up. Danielle, good morning, good morning. The sun is up, it's a brand new day. Good morning, good morning to you. The girls just got the bad news. Bad, 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 bad news. Because we have to deep clean the house today. Danielle's loving this news, huh? Deep down, she's bursting with enthusiasm. And Allie too, see? Can't you just see it on their faces, how excited they are? She's online again, and so we're here to pick him up, and it's awesome because it's raining outside, and Az back there. There he is! Az and I don't have to get out of the car and walk in the rain right now, right? You guys remember me last night? I was doing my groceries on the computer. This is the result. I get to sit in the car while they load my groceries in the car. You ordered cereal? I did order cereal. Did he put some cereal in? Did you find some cool groceries back there? <laughs> You're excited about marshmallow mateys? Put your hood on. Too bad Costco doesn't deliver right to our car, huh? We gotta run in the rain. Wait, did you already order stuff here? No, they don't do that here. Sad, huh? Uh -huh. We actually have to go in and get the stuff we need. This is the place where we bought our black table? Yeah. Mommy, can I get in? Yep. Put your legs in, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting way too big for me. I am in the car right there. And we are at Costco. Go. I hope there's food here that you can eat here. Oh, that's our same table. Yep. Table right there. <laughs> we have that same kind of table. Maybe there's, they stole our table. <laughs> okay, now find the one that says cheese. C. C H E E S E. Good job. Okay, click on it. It's right under our pocket. Oh man, good job. I am so glad that I brought you because you are such a big helper. Go jump in the car. I should have 
made the time to do all this yesterday. I always think that Costco is not going to be super busy on Saturday, and it always is. I just need to remember, don't go to Costco on Saturday. Johnny just texted me and said he needed packing tape. So Az and I are going to run into one more store and grab some packing tape. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Got our packing tape. Let's go. And that is the bulk of our groceries for the month. Nice thing about having a menu is I know everything that I need on my grocery list to do the menu for the month. We're not super strict. Sometimes we do different things than what it says that day, but a menu makes things so much easier and it makes grocery shopping cost less because I'm not just buying random things and thinking I'll use them. I have specific things I'm buying. We'll have to still get like milk and produce, more of that throughout the month, but this is the bulk of it, like half the price of what we've been spending every month just going to the store whenever we need to. As I was putting away the groceries, I got a little sidetracked and started organizing the pantry. It definitely needed it. I need to change some things around. Johnny wants the chips and snacks up high that Canyon can't just get into them all the time, which is a great idea. He's told me from the beginning and I've just already had it organized so I didn't want to reorganize it, but the snacks need to go up high. Some pepper in front of this Sands. You know what, Lizzie? It makes me happy that you read all the time. You know what makes me even more happy? Is that you read to Az all the time. I love that you share your love of reading with Az. I do, it's so awesome. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for always wanting to read to Az. Hey, are you done eating? Okay. Can you help me clean up? That one and put in the sink. Right here's the sink. Thank you. Okay, go get the other banana bowl. Yay, Kiko. Yay, Kiko. Thank you. So today, um, I'm like, come on, Giggle, let's go eat your food. And then he went up to stand up and he hit his head on the bench over there and he started crying. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. And I went over here to cheer him up. And I just read him that too. And then I finished it. I'm like, all right, I'm all done. And then he start, started saying something. I'm like, what are you saying? And then, and then I finally understood him. And he goes, I want you to read this story to me again. So I read the story to him again. Aw, thank you. Because <laughs> he was so sad. You girls are so sweet for reading to your brothers all the time. We had a couple car pillows and other stuff and they took everything except that baby thing. And so they took the car pillows with them. They took our stuff. Well, I guess when you tell them everything can go, I didn't know that stuff was still in here, so. The only thing is we had the travel bin that had like medicines and stuff like that in. Oh, well, yeah. what do you do? That's what happens when you tell them everything can go. I did get the pantry done. It still looks unorganized and crazy, but it is organized. <laughs> And when you have so many people, you can't have a nice, clean Pinterest pantry because you always have to have lots of food and stuff in there. So it is organized. There is a method to my madness. Canyon just ran past me into his room and slammed the door. Gigo! Now he's holding the door shut. This means trouble. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, don't worry the camera. What are you doing in here? Oh, you have candy. <laughs> Did you ask if you could have candy? Mm -hmm. Huh? I need to ask candy. What do you say? B. <laughs> you have to take it down to the table and eat it, okay? Bye! Bye! I love you! Hey, Mommy! What? Come out! What? Get the dog down here. <laughs> okay. Can you shut the Bye. door? Hi! Hi! What do you see in there? Um. Oh, Aw, did you give one to Az? Huh? Az, what do you say? You guys done in the garage? What stuff do you do? Can you please get dinner for the kids? Yeah. Again, help me make some dinner? How about some rice aroni? Wanna make that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, let me get out a pan and we can make it, okay? That right. Okay. Do you cut it? Okay, let's put it in the pan. 
<laughs> Good job! Look at it's bubbling. Gigo, it's time to put the water in. Have fun, yeah, Gigo. Have fun. Love you. Whoa, it's up. Good job. Good no, job. Okay, now we gotta add this in. You wanna help me add this in? If you want to watch a movie tonight, then you guys have to clean up the basement. Okay. While me and Danielle are making dinner, so hurry, hurry, hurry. Parents are at dinner, and so we have some corn dogs going on right here, and Allie's making Brussels sprouts. So I've been making some of those for me. I've been making a lot, um, so okay. yeah. But we're just hanging around, just watching the flash. The kids are going to bed in like 40 minutes. Little boys need to go to bed in 10 minutes. But the little, little girls get to stay up till 9.30. So you guys better not be grumpy tomorrow, but we have 11 o'clock church tomorrow instead of nine. But yeah, right now we're just watching The Flash, which is like mine and Allie's favorite TV show right now. Sarah and I went to dinner with some good friends of ours tonight, so I jumped off of the cleaning of the garage uh, project. I've got a lot more to do this week. Uh, we really didn't get very far. We did get rid of all of the boxes here. I've, I kept one to wrap my old desk parts in. Um, and we got rid of most of the stuff that was over here that was the DI, all the DI stuff, the stuff that we were donating. So Sarah took a whole truckload, actually the whole Suburban completely full, to Deseret Industries today to donate. So that was kind of cool. Lots of clothes and different things. And then I fixed that shelf over there because it was falling over. Not falling over anymore, I can put stuff back on it, but I still have a ton to do. Look at all of this. Anyway, back at it sometime this week. I'm gonna get this place clean and clear. So I can pull my cars in here, and so that I can do work in here, and so that I can just keep uh, keep a space that's nice and tidy. Red goes first. Yeah, red goes first. Watch, if I go red first, no, and then red blue goes last, goes last, last, and then yellow, and then red. red so there's goes last. red's first, yellow, and then blue, right? Red goes last. Do you think? Do you think you might have OCD? Obsessive compulsive disorder. Good job. Oh, you gotta fix that one? Yeah, okay. it's okay, us. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'll fix that one. No! <laughs> it's a serious business for you, isn't it? So I'm just in here helping Az in uh, Canyon clean up their room, ah. and Az has OCD. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Oh, no, be careful. Do. Oh, be so careful. I did abs yesterday at the gym and I found a new machine that should be called death abs because my abs are so sore right now. Oh Actually, my goodness. OCD isn't a bad It's actually thing. an awesome thing. What? I am telling guys that OCD isn't a bad thing. It is if it ruins your life, but if it's just to make sure you're taking yeah. care of business and getting stuff done the way that you like it, like in Look rainbow colors, Look how far I, okay. can I can almost do the split. Uh, if you don't take OCDs very You could do the split. Almost. Wow. I think that's called something else. Is that called split? Straddles. What's it called? Straddle? No, it's split. No, this Wow, dude, split. you're getting close. This that's is the split. I can't. That's the squats. No, so, this is the straddles. This is the splits. Wow, dude, you're getting pretty good. I had to put on my unicorn head because who doesn't love a unicorn? <laughs> you guys know that sometimes you could be tired or grumpy, or your parents make you clean. Just don't feel that happy, which is totally normal. That was me this morning. My mom woke me up and said, oh yeah, we gotta clean today. That was me this morning. I did not feel happy. I did not feel like I wanted to talk to anybody. I just felt like, everyone don't talk to me. I just don't wanna talk to anybody. And that's totally normal because everyone has those days. And especially me, I'm one person to talk to when you have one of those days. Cause I mean like, no one's perfect. And so if you guys are like, oh, Danielle, whatever, you can't say those things because, you know, blah, 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 you're not, you don't do those things. But I mean, people might say, oh my gosh, you look perfect or, but maybe they think that, but you don't think that about yourself sometimes and that's totally normal. In some people's eyes, you are perfect. Like to your family's eyes, you're perfect. Even if you're having a bad day, even if you just feel plain grumpy, you are loved. You can get through it. I know because, yeah, I have these days um, where I just want to lay down, be in bed for the rest of the day and just not talk to anyone. What I'm going to say right now is absolute truth. 
because it helps me. And what I'm going to say is something you hear every day from us, and that's you are worth it. And some of you might think, oh yeah, those are just something they say. Oh yeah, Tan writes, you are worth it. That's cute words that they say. It's just a little motto, like one of those things. But it's not just words that we randomly picked. It's actual things that matter to us in our own way and that can help you. So if you ever feel down or not as happy as a unicorn, just know that you are worth it no matter what anybody tells you, what you think, you are worth it. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That's not fingernail polish. Oh, no. Mixing up letters can make a very awkward situation. Grammy comes bearing gifts always. Oh, I miss you. Oh, Charlie! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o